Hey guys, Skip here. And I've got it all together now. Uh, about the best room and the best lighting I can get right now. Uh, it's just kind of a sunshiny day and you can see what I'm dealing with out there. But uh, here's what the, you know, the Canon, not the Canon, but the, my Garmin that I usually use looks like. And you can see that car over there? Yeah, right next to the house? There's two cars. Okay, with the camera, I, with, with this little Garmin, I can hardly even see that they exist. But uh, with this thing here, and you can see I'm using that. Let's see if I can't zoom in on uh, something and show you the zoom. Getting ready to lose our tire out there. But yeah, it gets up there uh, pretty darn close, guys. Now I'm just kind of sticking the camera up to the viewfinder here. And he's way across the street there. Let me zoom back out. And you just saw him pull away. Now I am not recording yet on this thing, but I am testing it out and I'm trying some different buzzers and bells. It's got a lot of different options if you go through the menus. In fact, if you download the instruction manual, there's a full instruction manual online and it will give you all the ups and, and, and buzzers and bells and stuff. Now check out this guy. So I turn on the, the light on or the uh, mic on here and I've got a power range uh, voice indicator test 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 I can I can check it turn it on see if there's a whole lot of wind noise if I'm gonna need the muffler uh, try different switches to see whatever's gonna uh, not push or, or, or bury this thing if there's a lot of noise I mean if you give it the 10 decibel gain it really rocks so bring it back down to normal uh, so far what I'm looking at just by the gauge because I haven't actually tried it or anything yet um, yeah, I'm not sure what to expect, but it looks like it's it, it, maybe all the low settings would probably be about the right, right about where I want it. All right, guys, it's been a quick and a short, but uh, we'll do some more testing on this thing and get some actual pictures and some footage, and I will show you. Thank you for watching. This has been Skip. Have a wonderful day, wonderful week, and I hope to see you soon. Try to get some lighting in here. Here we go. I've got this thing mounted on a Mohawk tripod. Uh, this actually came with an old movie camera that I bought years and years ago, about 30 years ago. And it was top of the line Sony back then. I wish there was something I could do with it now, but it's so obsolete. It takes cassette tapes, 8 millimeter tapes. So, uh, catch you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. P.S., guys. Uh, on another note, this thing is like really quick and handy portable. All I've got to do is pull this out and, uh, and well, kind of can't do this all at once. Need, need, not, need my other hand, guys. But I pop this out. There we go. And the whole shebang comes right up and off, and you can take it where you want it. Okay? And then you can just take it back over here. I'll recock that thing and then it just slides right in and uh, pops right over. Thought you'd like to see that. All right, see you guys. Thanks again. This has been Skip signing out with a new HD upgrade. Now we just got to get used to using this thing. <laughs> the other idea, guys, is you can also. Uh, uh, just take the camera off too and you can use it as a little handheld camcorder might still want to use the shade maybe not it all depends on your uses but uh, i've got this thing set up so that i can use it in components or, or just just the camera or put everything together and use it as a uh, a nice cinema like experience thanks again guys last time bye for now